Hey, everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, it's the third Thursday of the month, which means it's time for Simple Healthy Recipes with Well Your World, and today they're going to be making simple, healthy brunch recipes. Please welcome Dylan and Reeves from Well Your World to the show. It's nice to see you guys again, and brunch is a very wonderful meal to make. That it is. We love brunch. We love breakfast recipes. Even if I skip breakfast sometimes, these are the ones we make for late breakfast. <laughs> Reeves likes breakfast, though. I do try to make more breakfast for you. Hey, Reeves. There she is. Oh, I love breakfast every day. You know who else loves breakfast? Luca. He does love breakfast. <laughs> he loves all the meals, but only for about five minutes at a time. <laughs> well, breakfast is also really good, good for dinner. Have you ever had breakfast for dinner? Well, we are making a savory oats, which is perfectly wonderful for dinner. I mean, I I have never had a really a difference between breakfast, lunch, dinner. I just eat. So it's all the same to me. This one works great, though, for a breakfast, a lunch, or a dinner. We're going to start with our tofu scramble. Everything sounding good? Sounds amazing. Wonderful. Then let's get right to it. So this one is really simple. I always say I don't like to make tofu the main ingredient of things. There is a lot. There's one block of tofu in this, but we're sort of like diluting the tofu with some potatoes and veggies. So we've got some chopping to do. If you've got some questions, please hit up the chat box. Reeves is here. Of course, AJ's here. And the link down uh, in the description box has these recipes. You can click that, open a PDF. You can print it out. You can save it. You can put it on your iPad, whatever you like. <laughs> so find that. I'm going to rinse this can of beans that I started to rinse before we got distracted. <laughs> and so this is just, I'm taking a can, a simple can of black beans, and I'm going to throw everything into a nice big mixing bowl right here. Okay. I like to find, see if you can find no salt added beans. Canned food like beans and tomatoes always have so much salt, the standard version. So if you can find no salt added beans, then if you want salt, you can just add it yourself at the table, kind of like Dr. McDougall says to do. Uh, and then for, that way, for the people that are trying to avoid salt altogether, this would be a totally SOS free, no added salt, oil, sugar uh, meal. All of our recipes that we make are generally SOS free. Sometimes maybe we'll play with a little bit of, so, uh, what's it called? Soy sauce, tamari, miso. things like miso paste, but it's always optional. It never, I mean, it can add a little flavor if you're into that sort of thing. Otherwise, perfectly good without it. We do a cooking show. This is sort of to give you a, a taste of what our cooking show is like. We've got an awesome one next week. We have, Ooh. we're doing a mac and cheese bar. It's going to be really good. Cheese. Nobody. <laughs> no, not these ones. It's going to be good. So, all right, back to it. I've got one block of tofu. You may be wondering, oh, does it have to be firm, extra firm, whatever? It does not matter. Whatever tofu is easiest for you to find is great. You don't need to press it and squeeze out the water or anything, but we are going to squeeze, squeeze it, squeeze it just like this. Just take little pieces of it in your hands and squeeze it through your fingers. It's a lovely feeling. And you can break up the tofu so that it's like scrambled. And you don't have to go, you don't have to do anything fancy except that, okay? Reeves, back to you. <laughs> nice. my hand. You guys, this recipe is so easy. I can literally really make it wearing Luca. And I have to wear him because he can crawl so he doesn't do the hands and the knees. He does the hands and the feet. And he can crawl faster than anyone can run, I swear. That is true. In fact, Reeves put out all the all these ingredients today while wearing him on her chest. It's pretty handy wearing him because otherwise he's he's gone. I think he thinks that he's the one doing it too. So it keeps, keeps me entertained. He's, since birth, that kid has just needed to feel like he's like working. And then he's, he's really calm and doesn't scream and yell. But as soon as you like, make him sit st still, game over. He's not going to like that. All right, I'm going to do, did I, did I do the usual whole onion or like half an onion? Probably half, yeah, half. Uh, uh, I guess these are down, down below. Don't those. You want to take one of these ones. They're super tasty. I'm just chopping up, chopping up an onion into pretty small. Pretty simple. A little bit of chop, chopping here. Could use a bag of frozen, like white or yellow onion. Mm -hmm. That would work, would work for this. Uh, same with a frozen bell pepper. We're going to use a little bit of bell, bell pepper. This onion in, in. This is just, everything goes in the pot. There's not much steps of cooking or do, the, or do this and this. 
Well, actually, there's one. If you want to do this, I'll do this at the end. I'll, I'll explain that. But I, I, we usually just do the spinach when we're eating it at the edible nowadays. Uh, how about uh, this bell pepper? We're printing quite a bit of bell pepper. Pepper. Uh, uh, I might. I want this. Want this to fit on a sheet pan, so I won't overdo it. I'll just do some of some of the red bell. And just cut it into into strips. Real simple. And then we'll we'll just turn the other way and dice it up. Okay. Okay. You have to be a, cho a chopping. Star. You can just go really slow first, and then and then just press, and you'll get really get really fat. And then whipping together these meals will be will be simpler when you have a little bit a little bit of chop under your belt belt. A little more here. Any questions? Some people don't eat eat new, so they're hoping that there's some rest, some rest without it. Without it. Uh, or, we, or can they do it out of the recipe? You can definitely, you can always, always leach out. I mean, I mean, unless you're making a, a cheese sauce, even then, then could easily leave your veggies it's in place just to add add flavor to, so that so that it's like it's missing. And so I I think that uh, leaving leaving the nutrients out is is no big deal. There's a lot going on on here. You're gonna see see we're gonna add some other some other flavor to, so there'll be lots. Okay. A little potato. I use I use I like potato because because when it 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 doesn't turn turn into mush. So so I like to cut it pretty pretty small because with this with this we're gonna be cook, cooking in in just 20, 20 minutes. So look, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut these pretty thin patties, and then we'll just we'll just go real really thin and cut them into little little strips. So now you almost like like you know a little than like match match sticks. Like that, at, we're gonna chop them, chop them the other direction too. Too. Let's do it more here. Here. Somebody asking what, what brand knives you use, you use still. We have a. a uh, this is a global. This one, one global, and it says just G5. I really like, really like one. It doesn't have have a very round round radius, so I don't I don't have to lift my arm quite much when I when I'm chopping that. Um, so that's just that's just my own prince. I really like, really like a fair knife. Then one that's really, really rounded, where you got to do, got to do a lot more action. You know, it it doesn't matter much. You get you get used to whatever and ever knife using day in day in day. The, imp the important thing is just to, to stick with it and uh, use the same the same all the time, time, because then you'll be able to get to get fast. And then you can you can just stress things really really quick. Turn them, turn them, and we go. You always want to have want to have your knuckle touching the knife knife because that's guiding the knife the knife. Your left hand hands just do the same thing. You're bringing your right hand in it where to where to go. Okay, back backwards for mobile. <laughs> Lefty. This is, is you don't want to do, do things that are dangerous too. So see how this goes moving all out. And if, and if I start trying to chop through through it, you gotta you gotta you gotta surface always moving moving. So I like to just set it flat end and and then you can you can chop in strips like that that. Maybe more than more than enough dough for this dish. Dish. None of the amount ounce really matter. That's that's another thing. Our recipes is is there. They don't they don't have followed to the to the T. And I think I think that that's something something that carries over to to our rest in our cookbook books too. You don't have, don't have to follow everything exact. There's an ingredient ingredient you don't like or you don't don't have or can't get. It. Just switch it switch it with something you do like like, and it should be really really easy. And it'll, and it'll all feel really good. I'm, I'm sure that this tofu is tofu scrambled different almost, almost every time. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah, you sure do. Sure do. I think that's plenty, that's plenty of potato. We could do do more, but, but it's just totally totally up to how much you want to you want to throw in. So, so that looks like pretty good. Good veggie veggies in there. Red pepper, pepper, potato, the tofu. We got we got the whole beans in the bottom. Bottom, if you were. So so now let's do flavor. And what we're gonna throw throw in. I love that the, the potatoes are mixed in, in with the symbol. Me, me too. It, it's a nice, nice touch. You have to cut them some smaller, then cook through, through uh, in time, time for this to all kind of, kind of come together. That's why I make them in pretty small. That's important one, one. Okay. So when, uh, when I'm doing, we really love, love to just use, you know, you know like you and some, some people don't use, no big, no big deal. We love to use, use our chili and our fiesta. And the galaxy, galaxy dust is really good. The Latin are, this is yeah, this is the Latin lovers who are here, and uh, just throw in a, a you know a good table tablespoon or two of each. Uh, you just kind of wing it. But I'm gonna do organized with 
simple things here. We have garlic and onion, onion powder, a little bit of tur turmeric, and black pepper, pepper, and nutritional yeast. Okay, okay. Let's just throw throw all that in. Yo, everyone loves your, your equipment. Want to know where you, where you got your bowl from now? now. These bowls? These bowls are from uh, I guess they're just this the simple. D show them the tiny one. You'll, you'll, you'll get to that when we did the, the quinoa. Reeb saw these ladies at Ikea time we were there and there, and she didn't sit on getting the... And, and there's a even bigger and bigger one than that I like to use to use for a lot of... And then these are kind of the small... The, this is what I consider the small cell size. That's the miniature size, size. This is normal size. And then there's the both size. <laughs> Those are from Ikea. Ikea. But you can get them on Am Amazon. They're, the name is... You know, you know how I, things are named, named funny, okay? <laughs> no offense. Uh, and that's it. it. All we're gonna do is stir this this up, and we're gonna put it on a, on a sheet pan. And it's that we'll throw it, throw it in the oven. But you love those bowls because they spin at the bottom. Yes. Someone lent, lent us a bowl like that 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 had a silicone bottom, and I thought, how fa fancy. But then we couldn't couldn't get it to. Yeah, you, yeah, you can't. It, it, the nice thing about these is there's there's a really small surface area on the bottom. So when you, so when you're mixing things like you do mixing bowl full from time to time. Like we're doing, we're doing now. You want to be able able to spin bowl. Your your hand hand with the spoon doing less less work than the hand that's that's actually spinning the bowl, and that feels way more more naturally. But look at that! Isn't that beautiful? Tons of veg veggies and beans. Not just to tofu. I like to 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 make to add a lot of, of other starches to dilute some of the more more calorie dense tofu. Well, the tofu is really calorie dense. It's just more more calorie come from fat. fat. And whereas with, as with the beans, potatoes, more of the calories and from carbs, carbs start, right? So that's really good. You, you can see there's a the flavor, but, but this is when it could be like, okay, okay maybe I'll add a little, little of this. And you you can make Indian fl flavor and throw curry. You can, you can make it Italian flavor and, th and throw in Italian. You can, you can put any of the well, all your world spike blends are re really excellent re for this. But it's whatever you're for your fancy. Like, hey, when we make it, it's different every time. And then that's it. Let's get a, get a sheet pan. I've just got a simple, simple sheet size pen that you can use for a few bucks. Put a little bit of parchment paper over on there, dump it on, and then just flatten it out. You can squash it with your hands. It's okay, okay that it's a little bit of a thick, thick layer. You don't have to be like too thick. This is, this, this is pretty good from sheet pan. The, th the thicker you go, the more time it might need in, in the oven, and then the top might get a little more, a little more uh, dried out. But that's that's not a bad thing because the more you make it the, the more you dry this out the richer it's gonna taste because you're taking out water water right so there it is now you could, you could sprinkle on like a little bit, bit of chili lime if you wanted, wanted to this just chili lime really mild ooh new jar it's really mild so you're gonna add like, like a bunch of heat you're just, just adding a nice citrusy chili flavor and that's that's it we'll throw it in the oven and it takes takes about 20 minutes sometimes in the last few minutes, I'll throw, like, when there's just two minutes left, I'll take fresh spinach and just layer on, on some fresh spinach, and then it'll wilt in the oven for a couple minutes. But uh, usually when we eat it, I'll just pop some spinach, and we'll make little tacos out of this. So you got uh, options. <laughs> you guys, we're giving you the recipe PDF. It's down, down below in the show notes, but uh, you used to never be a recipe person. You still want those sp spice blends. It's just... Does it really nilly? You That's just true. Kind of just eyeball it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it was Reeb's. Well, no, it, it was you guys that, that requested recipes for forever. You're like, we 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 aren't ready to wing it like like you. And then <laughs> Reeb's is like, look, everybody doesn't want to want to wing it. You're gonna have to make some some recipes. And I was like, I'm gonna have to. And and you did it all. You did all all the work. Thanks, Reeb. Now we have actual. Cookbooks. You can see see a uh, couple of the cookbooks standing up back there. there we've got three cook cookbooks now, and there you can buy, buy them in a bundle. So if you buy them in a bundle on our website, you, you can get five bucks off. I believe A's got a link, an affiliate link in the description box too, so you'll support her if you click click that. And away we go. We also have this cooking show, like we said, we went mac and cheese bars week, and we got what do we have now? 111 episodes. We've been in this cooking show show for a long time. And if you become a member, there's a link, link down at the bottom. You can become a member and 10% off of all of our products that we sell. And we've got an awesome bundle going. I'll tell you about in a little, little bit. But we do two live episodes every month. And you get access to, to all of the previous PDFs, all the recipes. Cancel any time. If, if you don't like it, you tell me. 
I'll give you money back, which I never had to do. <laughs> unless I act, unless I accidentally charge someone wrong on or something. But nobody's told me I, I hate your show and I want money back right now. So I think, I think people like it. They stick around and they come back. All right, what, what are we making next? What are we making the next? Quinoa. Oh no, we're gonna do, we gotta, we gotta do the uh, oatmeal first. We're gonna make a savory oatmeal. This one's really easy. This one doesn't need a knife or a cutting board at all. I've got everything back here. So, so savory oats, you know, oats are very, oatmeal is a very common thing for, for people like us to eat for breakfast because it's fast, it, it is breakfasty, and it, but, but it's fast and it doesn't require a lot of prep. Just throw your oats in. You can throw in a little bit of sweetness, like with the date powder, like we sell. Um, what, what else? Some frozen fruit. That's the way we like to make oatmeal every morning, but that can get boring. So savory oats is really, really fun, both for breakfast or for any time of day. Well, so, oats are so filling too. Is that a thing? Yeah. I Keeps think you so. cooler longer. No matter what, if I eat breakfast, I'm going to be hungrier earlier. I don't know what causes that. I haven't talked to the plant-based doctors about what anomaly is happening. But if I just wait till around the middle of the day to eat, then I feel more satisfied all day. And it's not like I'm making myself wait. It just happens. <laughs> okay, let's go to the stove. We'll keep Reeves around. <laughs> so I've got my pan here. We're throwing in some water. We're going to heat to a boil. Throwing in some veggie stock. It's going to give it a nice savory flavor. So we're just, just diluting veggie stock. You, you can use all veggie stock, but that's, you know, a, a stronger flavor than you really even need. So now we've got a few other things. Can you see all these? No, not yet. So we've got our oats. Here's our little tiny mini bowl. We've got some regular rolled oats. It doesn't matter whether they're quick oats or whether they're whatever. You can wait till the water's to boil or you can just throw thing in and let it heat up. It doesn't matter. And I just start stirring it. This is a, a fat stove. Then we've got red lentils. Red lentils is an excellent ingredient for this because as they cook, they get really creamy. And, and so that'll give some creaminess. It, it takes longer than making you know your regular breakfast oatmeal because of the lentils, but it's well worth it. It's an awesome. It's I an love awesome the lentils ingredient. in this. Definitely. Why don't you tell people why we call this San Francisco? It's... Because it. Why don't you? Okay. Because it tastes like rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. That's right. I don't know how that ha did. We just taste it and we were like, dang, it tastes just just like. Or did we try to actually mimic rice aroni? I don't remember. I don't remember. We've been making this one for, for so long. I don't remember the origin story, but it's our San Francisco oats. Then I'm going to use our galaxy dust. This is a little out of focus, but there's our galaxy dust. This is one of our favorite no salt seasonings that you can get on our website. I'm throwing some of that. In. You can use any no salt seasoning that you like. It doesn't have to be ours. None of the our recipes really require that you use our products. Same with our cooking show. I make sure that nothing requires our products. I'm promoting them a little here because we're on the Chef AJ show. But any, any kind of flavor. I like to make this Indian style too and throw in some curry powder. That's one of my favorite flavors. So then we have some nutritional yeast. And again, if you don't like the nooch, just leave it out. No, no big deal. Our nutritional yeast is better than the other ones. So you might want to give it a try. If you don't like other nooch, you might like ours. I get people telling us all the time they didn't like it until they tried ours. Mm -hmm. And it is a non-fortified. Uh, you've heard us talk about that before, how it doesn't have all the synthetic vitamins like niacin and all these B vitamins you don't need. And your B12, you're going to get from uh, your B12 supplement anyway. So you don't really need it in your nutritional yeast. I don't think getting B12 from your nutritional yeast is very reliable because not even the people who like it, like us, don't eat it every single day. So I think uh, you're still going to have to take your B12 supplement. So there's really no reason to buy fortified nutritional yeast with the synthetic vitamins. I've heard they give people some reactions too. Mm. So we'd like to take it out. I like to make all of our products as, as simple and clean as possible. And that is a wrap. All we're going to do on the San Francisco Oats in the last few minutes, we're going to add some fresh spinach and it'll wilt in there and be really good. Yeah, we threw everything in. Got it. How easy was that? That is pretty easy. Okay. Well, we'll just watch that. Any other questions? Well, I want to bring that up to a boil before I start the next one. No questions right now. No questions. Okay. 
Well, I can, uh, what else can I tell you guys? Oh, I was going to mention uh, the bundle we're doing. So last Ooh, year, yeah. late last year, we started doing bundles of our products where you can buy a couple things together or we'll do a weekly sale. And we we're trying to encourage people to join our newsletter because where you first hear about it is going to be on our newsletter. Uh, we send out one email a week on Thursday mornings. So we do not pollute your inbox with emails. We don't share your emails with anybody. But this is our bundle that we're doing this week. Actually, we've extended it one extra week because it has been the most popular bundle. Really kind of astonishing, actually, how popular this one's been. This is our Mambo Italiano bundle. And it includes the mushroom basil and the marinara magnifica, which are our two pasta sauces, which are super tasty. Our pizza sauce, which a lot of people use as a pasta sauce because it's smoother, less chunky. So for people that like a smooth sauce, that one works really well for that. But we love to put it on the Trader Joe's lavash and just make quick, easy, homemade pizzas. And then our, one of our most popular dressings is our Italian dressing. And we had a really tasty... Uh, pasta salad in our email today that is mm -hmm. practically what I designed that dressing for, which is making a super fast, simple pasta salad where you just throw in the noodles, you know, cooked pasta, uh, some bell pepper, onion, um, uh, olives optional. What else are we throwing in? Um, tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. Parsley. Mm. Parsley, fresh parsley. You don't have to have the fresh parsley because you get a lot of flavor from the Italian dressing. But if you've got it, by all means, it makes it prettier. I that love taking bits. it to a party because who doesn't like Italian pasta salad, really? And nobody nobody knows that you whipped up in three minutes. They think that you spent all day on it. So and nobody it's knows. quite impressive. And nobody knows. Well, regular people in the world <laughs> don't know how healthy it is either. Yes. They don't notice that the oil's missing. Right. So that's pretty cool. All right, let's check this out. It's looking good over here. We're getting up to a boil. Give it a stir. You can see the oats are already thickening up. And that's it. Once it, once it really gets boiling, then I just turn it to medium. Medium, medium, low. Just let it simmer and bubble. We're about 15 minutes is all it really takes. And do make sure when you add those red lentils, you give it a good stir because they can stick and clump if you just throw them in and let them sit. Nice, oh, it smells so good. I wish you could smell it. We're still working on that technology. Okay. <laughs> Next one is probably the fanciest of the three brunch recipes. This well, one, go ahead. It sounds fancy, but it takes like three minutes to prep. I certainly don't mean fancy like it takes a while. And my switcheroo just finished. So we'll be able to taste this one right out of the oven. Because it, the only thing long about this is it does take an hour and 10 minutes, 10 minutes because it, we're using quinoa. So that is, in fact, I'm going to go rinse this quinoa before I throw it. Oh, no, I need to start with the bananas first. So we have two bananas. The riper, the better. These ones aren't super ripe because we just got them. But you can use you know, black bananas in here and it'll be fine. Ripe is good. Those are pretty good. They're good. These are pretty, um, but it doesn't matter. Uh, you're gonna add some sweetness from the, some date some date powder too. So all we're gonna do is take got these two, these two banana and mash them and mash them until they get kind of kind of liquid, a little and bit says juicy. That mm -hmm. she made this uh, for Chris Christmas. It's a very impressive dish. It's perfect for a holiday today, but I make this, make this during the week because it's so fast to whip up. All you got to do is, is be okay with, hey, with waiting uh, while it's baking. So just kind of shift this around around your masher until it's in soft and smooth. Well, it doesn't have to be smooth, but, but liquid kind of like this, this. Maybe liquidy is not the right word, but, but it becomes sort of, sort of pasty. And that's more than enough. Okay, okay. So, so now again, it's just a matter of throwing everything in. I've got this quinoa. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go while Reeves is uh, entertained. <laughs> Everyone's talking about the chili limes, and you know, said uh, that she loves the size of her spice blends because they they live for a while. While in this house, this house the lime is like gone all the time. Time wrinkles out and everything. Thank you, Gina, Gina, for knowing because so many spice blends that are that are for ill are maybe they're less, they're less, but they're also at least half of the size yeah. or worse. Worse. I mean, ours ours are all well. Our our Mexican our fiesta fiesta 
it is a little less by because it's a fluffier blend because a lot of oregano and marjoram and things like that. But the red, other ones that are more like dense, dense around are four, four ounce bottles. That's a lot, lot. You know, other ones are definitely not as much. I, I read quinoa because, because quinoa can be a bit, a bit starch. Some people, some people affects their digestion to the quinoa. So good to rinse quinoa, but you uh, throw it in. So uh, the banana, banana, the quinoa, and now we're going to take a few, few flavors. Throw that in. That in. Okay. And yes. Yes. Quick. Can you can you go back? Us. Um, somebody was somebody was asking specific, specifically how would you would you see fresh as, asparagus and and to that answer our our pepper seed seasoning perfect perfect for fresh asparagus. Yeah. Yeah. That's that is a that is a good one. The lemon lemon pepper. A lot of people people associate this uh, uh red yeah, lentil stick a little bit because it got hot. hot. <laughs> Oops. Something. That wasn't us, was it? was it? The red lentils, just a bit, bit. So you just rub your spoon on, spoon on the bottom off. Nothing burned or injured any. It's just what, what lentils. Do. That's why red lentils can cause a burn, cause a burn more than instant pot sometimes. Time. We're good. So, so now this is quite a boil. Quite a boil. So bring it down and just, and just let it simmer until the lentils get nice and moist and mushy. And that's it, as well as those, those oats are. Back back to what we were saying, Rhea. I'm going to go. I'm going to go a little bit. And also says, says I use the, the chili lime fiesta fire to fire blend most of the time. So she's always always got those little lovers that was intermingling. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I came out the fiesta fiesta because I didn't like how, like how every skin blend blend always it all, it all looks like the chili chili lime just straight up straight up hot. I feel like like and they added a lot more a lot more herby flavor. And then we went to to, to make the version of, of tahini. Frankly, we, we wanted to eat tahini. tahini. Tahini is so salty, but it's tasty. The, the flavor, I love to love to put it on berries and like chili, chili lime berries. Maybe a little bit of bitter. carrot powder or, or cocoa powder. There is a, is a such a nice, that's another, another breakfast test idea for lunch or whatever. whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but but yes, the, I miss the asparagus. asparagus, asparagus. The chili lime is, lime is awesome for eating veggies like, like that. And I was saying, I was saying a lot of people associate uh, excuse me, chili lime, lemon, lemon pepper, the lemon, mm -hmm. lemon pepper with things you would, would flavor meat with, with, but a, a lot, a lot of people do not, not associate with that, that, and you should get out. I, I use it as pe pepper, everything, everything's good with a bit of extra, extra lemon. That so so we like to sprinkle it, sprinkle it in lieu of pepper for a lot of, of thick adding at the thing at the table, whatever. Okay, back to, to what we got going on here on here. So we have our banana, bananas and our noir. This is this is gonna be our and now I got some date date powder. Powder you you can it's often call date date sugar in the in the grocery stores, but you are not you're not gonna find it in the grocery store store. This is S darn date and date powder. Uh it, it's it, look at it. It's it's beautiful. It's uh just powder powdery and perfect, perfect, dusty. So nice for for flavor and sauce, savory, savory sauces. It's it's so nice sweetening your your oatmeal without ha having to worry about chunks of date dates. So it's really 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 nice. Uh, check out our date powder powder. But have to have have hours. You buy whatever's at, whatever's at the grocery store. But I, but I encourage you to just throw that in. That in. If you don't have don't have date powder and you want to use date, use dates, there's 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 going to be some milk or or any plant that you like like this one. So you can blend dates with milk. And that is another thing. Another thing you can do. Are we still good? Still good on this one? It's a little bit, but but we're rolling it. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna throw throw a bit of this milk in and splash, splash on myself. Then I have I have <clears throat> some chia chia and flax. This 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 flax seed already ground ground chia. Do we normally normally ground grind it or do or do we leave them whole for this? I usually leave them leave them whole for the recipe because they sort of. I don't know why. Why they, they uh, uh, make a nice te texture when they're whole. And now we have here here some cinnamon and vanilla vanilla powder. Going in the cinnamon cinnamon. We got a little bit of bit of vanilla powder. I often use vanilla vanilla extra too, but I like the vanilla vanilla powder better. And it was, and it was I think you Chef AJ that, AJ that got me onto the vanilla vanilla powder and just whisk it. it. I can't hear AJ just so you, so you know. Just whisk whisk this all together together. So that you've got all that cinnamon and the dry stuff, stuff we just add gets all it's all broken up with liquid and everything nice and mixed together. Now we have one option, optional ingredient. I like I like to take a quarter cup of walnuts and just just chop them up 
If you are avoiding the extra fat, you can just, just leave this, no big deal. But I love the texture of when you when you bite into it and you got, got a little bit of walnut, walnut flavor and, and, and texture. So nice. And I'm just chop, chopping them up. They're not too big, a big a piece. And this, and this is just order cup and then this whole casserole, for lack of a better word. word. <laughs> That's it. Everything's in. Give it, give it a stir. And, and then this one literally as, as simple as just taking a tiny little py Pyrex uh, baking ding dish. I'll get a spatula so that I can drape the bowl. And then, and then just dump it. Just make sure you're, you're getting all this stuff here. here. All right. That was easy. This this one is so easy. Boom! It's all in there. It looks looks very liquid, right? Well, it's all that's because they're cooked quinoa, and that's why it takes some time. You can you can just throw the oven un uncovered, three fifty for an hour, ten minutes. It seems to be the perfect time time for me. I'm not I'm not going to throw it in because I've got one already already ready. Well, I might as might as well. I've cooked it, cooked it. I'll just do do a swap. Let me get my, my mitts. Are you doing doing cooking magic? Yeah. Look. <laughs> Does that look weird? You have packs. <laughs> okay. There was a lot, lot of liquid in the oil too, because of the oats and the red lentils. Yes. It may seem watery, but it's, it's good. Let's check those, those in fact. How are they looking over, over here? Oh, yeah. See, it's thickening up very nicely. You just want to make sure your red, red lentils get soft. If you had to add a little, little bit of water while it's cooking, you can do that. I still have some, some that's stuck to the bottom, but, it, but it's not going to hurt your dip. So you don't have to. I like to have to have a little kettle by in case I want to add a little bit of water. And we'll just let, let this keep in. I'm going to taste the, the quinoa that we just put in the oven. Oh, oh, I need to push them on that oven oven. Okay, okay that's looking good. We're, we're eating good today. All right, let's show you this thing close and personal. Boom, there is our, our beautiful quinoa bake. It's gorgeous. I, and, I, and I did it uncurred. Now let me show you the inside. I'll, I'll put it a little in this bowl. Okay, ready for this? For this? Heck yeah. Okay, it, it baked a little. I could have done a few less minutes on top, but check out, out this quinoa. The texture will be, be absolutely perfect. It's... Everyone loves recording where. Where did you get that thing? I think your sister I, found it for you at an estate sale. State sale? Oh, she gave it to me for Christmas. Mm. Play, check it out after an hour. See if it's like you like it. It's nice and moist. The texture is like really, really nice. The, the quinoa is per perfectly cooked. It's mushy, but, it, but it's soft from everything that we put in. And really good. The sweet, sweetness level is perfect without being too crazy. I only forgot one ingredient. And, and that was the berries. Oh, you did? We, we forgot the berries. Oh, so awesome. follow the recipe. <laughs> forgot to take the, the berries out right before the show started. Because you used frozen berries. It's real delicious. But you will want... Berries will also... It'll be a little, little bit moister than what you see here. Because that's a, a pretty important ingredient in for the recipe. You put some on top. No but works. You can, you can add your berry top. You can put some of our yogurt on, on top. Ooh. Our yogurt, yogurt has been very popular because we made it in a way I eat in a day, day video on, on our YouTube channel. So you could take, let me get some of those frozen berries now. They want you to fix the one in the Bravo. Oh, I could do that. That's the idea. So set this here. I'll get, get the Bravo one out. <laughs> Willie said, what? Not the too hot dance? <laughs> well, I don't know. It, it's not too hot. It's, it's not too hot. There's not. It, it was a little drier, so it's not that burn your mouth wetness. But now, now this this is berries I really like to use. I apologize for hitting them, but you literally just take take a cup and a half of these berries 
and throw them in. Or Reeves actually likes blueberries, so we, so we can just throw them right in like this. There you go, we'll just Joe. throw in a few handfuls, and away we go. Oh, boom. You're not going to see the, the finished product, but it, it will be a, a little bit different texture than the one I pulled out because I found the berries. Okay. Now it's, it's ready to go. Perfect. Someone else said, I have that same baking dish. This one or the corningware one? The corningware. It's pretty cool. I'm going to rinse my hands. Someone said they're watching the show and eating a huge salad. You know, when people watch our Well Your Weekend Live cooking show, a membership show, show that you should definitely sign up for, they always have to eat something either during the show or beforehand because you just get too hungry when you're watching everyone cook for an hour and a half. <laughs> That's true. Because we dig in yeah. on the show. We love the recipes. Okay, let me show you a little bit of yogurt. This yogurt is spectacular because... You know, a lot of the yogurt, well, all of the yogurt that you buy in store, they can only be thickened by adding multiple different types of gums and processed stuff. Uh, when you make homemade soy yogurt, it's, it's just soybeans and water, and it comes out thick. Like, look, look at this up close, and you can see, like, this is a thick block of yogurt, only because we haven't blended it up yet. When you blend it up with, like, an immersion blender, you can put a little bit of it in your container, and you can blend it up and it's nice and soft. It's just that this is when it comes out of the incubator, it's pretty um, firm, like a Greek yogurt, but super, super, super healthy. We have the best method for making yogurt. And this is the simplest, um, simplest, tastiest yogurt. And it's so cheap because you can make a whole quart of yogurt for like a buck for <laughs> two bucks, whereas this would be like $15. Of yogurt, yeah, at the grocery store, and they're not even good. That's the bummer of it. So, super tasty quinoa bake. I encourage you to try it. Do you put the berries in? <laughs> Actually, even better. Okay, now our tofu scramble. Did I burn it because I forgot to set the timer? No, it's pretty probably forgiving. not. It's pretty forgiving, but it's done. Oh, it only looks dark because of the chili line. So look at this. Mm. This beautiful tofu oh, scramble. Nice. Now I don't have a spoon. But you can see that it's kind of fluffy, a little bit dried out. You could put this in for a few more minutes. I don't know how long it was in there, but I wasn't paying attention. Let's just sit out. It starts to like dry and clump together, and it's... I really just, mm, that's hot, very good, good, that one is hot. <laughs> I really just wait to make sure the potatoes are done. Once the potatoes are soft, everything's done. It's not like the tofu needs to be cooked. You're just kind of drying it out. We'll put it in for a couple minutes. The oven's off. And I want to get back to my oats because those ones are more time sensitive since they're on the burner. Okay. Look at how this is thickened up really nicely. It's beautiful. It's porridgey just like you would expect. And now is when we're gonna throw in a whole bunch of spinach, like two cups of fresh spinach. Just throw it in here and let it wilt. So then I usually turn the heat back up so that the spinach doesn't cool it down and slow us down. But just I just take a handful at a time. I don't really measure, you guys, if you, if you can guess. And just stir in this uh, spinach and it will wilt really nicely. And you've got your greens, too. Of course, you can use kale. You could use frozen if you want. But I like a little bit. I like the fresh for this dish. I love watching those greens just wilt down. Yeah. It's, just, it's surprising how much you can fit in here of greens. Um, the chat of box that. wants you to remind them what seasoning blend you used in the oatmeal. We use the galaxy dust which is our no nutritional yeast added uh, salt substitute 
kind of like a table blend. I sprinkle it on top of the finished dish, but I also cook with it like we did in this one. It's really a versatile, delicious dish, uh, spice blend. Our zesty would also be really good. The zesty has got a little bit more citrusy flavor. This one's really tasty and this sort of thing. The zesty is like got some slightly larger bits. So that's why you usually want to cook with this one because it's got some veg, some dehydrated veggie pieces in there mm -hmm. that you'll want to soften in your meals. So that's why it would be really good for cooking into this one. I really like that one too. And that's looking pretty good, but I still need a little more. And this is our savory oats. We've done a couple of different savory oats in our various brunch episodes on our show. Mm -hmm. We've got quite a few tasty dishes. I mean, we must have... I don't know, three, 400 recipes from that show. A lot of them we've put in our books. A lot of our YouTube recipes we've put in our books. And we're, we'll have more books this year at some point. We want to try to come out with at least a book or two each year because we make lots of new recipes every year. Yep. There we go. Looks really good. Let's have a little bowl. That looks so good. And you can just let this sit on low for a good while. But definitely not on six. We'll turn that way down now to maybe like a one. And we'll just let it, it'll still have enough heat to keep softening those lentils. And it'll just get mushier and mushier, which is nice. Reeves, did you want to taste? Or is it is it going to be too hot for you? It'll be too hot for me. <laughs> <laughs> A couple more minutes for the lentils, but it's soft enough. Mm. Oh, I it really is like rice aroni. It's kind of weird. And no salt added. I mean, you know how much uh, salt is in rice aroni? <laughs> the San Francisco I mean, It's bad. So this is so simple. Okay. Now let's get out that tofu scramble. I mean, you can put yeah. tofu scramble right on top of this. But here's what we often do is, I forgot to buy tortillas, but we often will just make little tacos with it. I'll get another bowl. And throw on some homemade pico on top. Mm, check that out again. Look at this. Nice yellow from the turmeric that we added. So that gives it a nice color. Oh, some people I was going to make gonna mention like to use that black salt. That kind of sulfury salt to give it some eggy flavor. Uh, I don't really care about that personally, but some people really love to do that. Do that, so you explore that. We're also working on a wet world jar jar salt that's SOS free, but we don't have it yet. But that's what I would put on top of this. So this is our, our tofu scramble, complete with beans, uh, potatoes, red bell pepper, onions. So simple. Lots of lots of It's really tasty. Really they don't usually eat it by itself. Usually we're served with served with tias. What else? What else would you put it on? I would put it on a butter romaine. Why not? Yeah, sure, sure. But I think it'd be really good, just right on top. <laughs> You're wild. Savory oats. I was telling that to Reeves before the show that I think they would go really well to melt together. Mm. And I was right. Very. Okay. Our three recipes. Recipes. What do you think? You can do these. These will keep you eating food all day long, anytime. Nothing was hard. The most most difficult was a little bit of chopping. Yeah. And if you don't don't want that, there are little tools you can do. I've seen show you some pretty cool uh, chopping tools. Mm -hmm. You could chop up 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 with the bell pepper, the pepper, the onion, even the potato very easily with something like that like that so don't miss out playing around with fresh, with fresh produce of course you could use the frozen stuff too uh, uh, do it mm, this is really good i like this i, I like this mixture a lot a lot are you gonna feed me do you want some now now you try them together together i'm telling okay. you okay reeves reeves on the reeves cam going for going first i can't i can't believe you missed it and you and you eat it so many people in the chat were talking about eat, eat a spoon and Always. Nips allowed. Me or them? Them. Them. Me too. 
definitely be more of a fork lately. Like, like, oh, is that annoying you right now? No, no. <laughs> this is this is actually really together. <laughs> Good. It tastes great. Great. Well, Reeves is tasting. I'll tell you that next week's week show, we've, we're, we're doing a man and cheese bees bar. Oh, uh, yes. You yeah. your sriracha. Or sriracha. sriracha. I totally forgot about this, about the sriracha. Sorry to, sorry to interrupt. You sure, sure did that bowl go? So, it's okay. It came out with, out with our new mix of sriracha. Not really a new menu mix. It's just, it's just that we need the citric ass gas time. It's on, it's on the label. There's actually no, no citric ass anymore anymore and uh in a glass bottle bottle for requests a lot of people have to get rid of the plastic got rid of the plastic and it's very e easy to jar a, a little bit on top uh uh i love this this sriracha it, for, for it to have added salt all fizzy as, as such a chili flavor flavor and it has a little bit a little bit but it, does, it doesn't ling so it goes away way fast <laughs> delicious it's really it's really good okay okay back to the uh, while your weekend weekend show. we're deaf aj are you are you still there we had a i am still here time. but i've been watching and it looks amazing and it looks delicious thank you so much you make it so easy you need to we get one of those buttons from uh staples which one so easy, okay. easy button oh, oh. What, what the one it, that says, it, it says that was easy oh all right. Well, this is I'll, perfect. right away. Hey. This is a perfect time for the show because it's lunchtime for you now, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And we've got lots of things we can do. We can dig into mm -hmm. all day long. Day long. This will carry us into the evening. Evening, I'm sure, because we because we've got a lot to got a lot to eat. Eat. Pretty well, sweet. That's, that's great. Well, thanks, guys. And don't forget, don't forget we are Mumbo Ital Italiano bundle going twenty twenty percent of all of our of our Italian stuff. That will end, will end next week. So you've only, you've only got a week to uh, can cash in that one. <laughs> thank you for having us on this on the show if you want to su support us all subscribe to our youtube, YouTube channel we just hit <laughs> just hit 100 subscribers subscribers on youtube hey it only, it only took six years <laughs> congratulations yeah all right well thank you guys we look forward to seeing you next month absolutely we'll be here we'll be here thanks dylan thank and reeves and thanks all of you for watching another episode of chef aj live please come back tomorrow when we have the doctor is in a q a with dr juan rice you need to get those questions in, in advance